Well, former Justice Diane Hathaway pleaded guilty to bank fraud back in January for a scheme exposed by our seven Action News investigators. Today, Hathaway will learn if her crimes will land her behind bars. Seven Action News investigator Ross Jones is out live outside federal court in Ann Arbor. Ross, judgment day, I guess, huh? Yes, indeed, Joanne. In less than two hours, we will learn if there is prison time in former Justice Diane Hathaway's future. And while she is certainly the focal point of today's hearing, the real decision maker is Judge John O'Mara. He is the federal judge who will be sentencing her at 2 o'clock. Now, the U.S. attorney says Hathaway deserves up to 18 months in prison for her scheme, where she hid more than $1 million in assets from her bank while asking them to forgive more than $650,000 in mortgage debt. That scheme was exposed by 7 Action News and is the basis for Hathaway's conviction. In their sentencing memorandum, the U.S. attorney calls Hathaway's scheme, quote, the essence of an intentional crime driven by the greed to obtain even more crime committed by those with means. Now, Hathaway's attorney, Steve Fishman, is asking the judge, for leniency. He says Hathaway suffered enough and that sending her to prison would benefit no one. In his legal briefs, he writes that Hathaway, quote, has lost a job she loved and given up law and real estate licenses. She has been publicly humiliated, even stopped going to social gatherings, and eventually left the state to avoid media attention. While she will have a difficult time doing it today at 2 o'clock, when we expect about a dozen other reporters will be here to watch as the one-time justice faces justice. We're live in Ann Arbor when we learn what her fate will be, we will post it at WXYZ.com beginning at 2 o'clock. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. All right,